Hi folks, today I'm working on my 750 drill and I replumbed the active down pressure to act more as a relief valve than a reducing valve. This was not my idea, this came from a, another YouTube video by a fellow by the name of Kirk. Uh, but his, dis his pictures don't show very well where, what he did, so I'm going to try and show you better. Okay, here's our, here's our active down pressure valve. Of course, I've got the cylinder lock up here and it's, it's on. I hope you can see there's my V2 line and there's the line that the, the line that's capped and the one that's going to the 90 right there that's the original one from the tractor's remote and as you see I've got a 90 and a T to that back side of the valve that hose is the hose that goes to the raised position of the hydraulic cylinder. There you are. So, fun fact about having done this replumb job is originally my remote valves wouldn't stay detented. And the way I have it set up, this one's my markers, and this one is for the down pressure of the drill. They say not to use the motor valve. I, I did a bunch of reading and so I'm, I'm not using the motor valve, I'm using my middle valve here. So in order to put pressure on the drill, I just kick it forward and it detents in. And if you look, I'm on the ground and you can't read the pressure, but I've got it set at about 750 pounds. And there it sits, circulating oil really nicely. And of course, it kicks right back out real easy and comes back to, you know, raise your units. just like that it stays detented and of course you'll notice I'm at a low throttle setting the valve has stayed detented so that's a really nice and as you'll get to see later in the season most likely I'm pulling this with my new to me 6588 2 plus 2 there's the drill there's our hoses there's our quick coupler by the way I put this Will Kia hitch on because I wasn't too keen on the dollies but I'm going to leave them on it for the moment and just use this hitch to pull a little bit of weight off the dollies for now. We'll see how this works. Kind of excited to try that out because I wanted an actual two-point hitch drill for this tractor. Now you'll come over here and we look at our remotes. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Uh, maybe I can add a little bit of light to the situation. motor valve. Here's our motor return 
I'm sorry this is so dark. I'm doing this inside. It's, it's raining out right now. The lower connection is my metal valve inside the tractor. The upper connection, that's the one for my markers. And that is, by the way, the inner most valve. There's our marker valve, and of course, there's our down pressure valve. So I hope this explains a little more, shows a little more detail. Of course, I have not had it in the field yet. Uh, I have one of the later later farms in, in my neighborhood, and it's just way too wet with the rain we've been getting. So it'll be a few weeks before I can try this out and actually tell you how well you know if it heats up the oil or, or something like that but I do want to say thank you again to that uh, Kirk's Ag Repair and he's down in uh, Pennysville Ohio which is uh, pretty close by to me about uh, about 15 20 minutes away this was his idea he's got a video of it describing it and I'm just trying to describe it in a little little better detail so there you are And uh, happy farming, everybody.